Hi Scorpio, coming to you with a weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Scorpio strongly in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into this weekly, uh, get into the weekly energies here. Connecting into the consciousness of Scorpio, consciousness of, of the common Scorpio, connecting in and bringing energies forward that are impactful and important for Scorpio to know. For Scorpio to know. All right, let's see what's coming out. Starting out with the moon. Two of wands. Four of cups flips over. Seven of wands. Jeez, Queen of Wands. She sure made an entrance, didn't she? Not sure why I'm just not satisfied with how these cards are. For Scorpio. My hands are a little bit shaky <clears throat> and my voice did something weird, Scorpio. Um, not sure what's going on here with the Six of Wands, but there's a little bit of like uh, adrenaline or nervousness that I'm feeling. Okay. And, and nothing looks quite right here on the spread, like it's not straight and I... Um, there, there could be like a, an element of perfection that you're trying to attain, uh, this, this week, Scorpio, um, as you're, as you're moving into this week, you're in the eight of cups, you're embodying the energy of the eight of cups. So overall, what you're working on doing is eliminating some of the extra stuff in life, like extra uh, projects that you have that, that really have been on your mind that you haven't been able to do and. Maybe you don't even have the interest in, in doing them anymore. These could be relationships that are like old and stale. I mean, I, I don't want to, um, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, that's what you're doing and you're doing it because you're tired. You're tired. Uh, it's been hard. And I think you're learning like you, you're not really going to be able to continue without making some changes. And I think you're in the process of doing that. Look at the eight of cups riding over the nine of wands and the six of wands into the two of wands. So you're in the process of making some sort of decision about what to do, how to do it, what the best future would be. Um, and you, you are in the process of doing that right now in this week, making these decisions, digging into strategy, digging into different paths forward. Um, and, you know, I mean, I think these changes could be impactful as you move forward. This is just a weekly reading, but I think some of the things you're doing this week, Scorpio, I don't know if it's just the beginning of the new year. I don't know if it's like moving into new energy. I mean, we know that the Chinese New Year is, um, you know, around in this area. I don't know what day it is exactly, but, you know, we're coming into some energies that are switching um, in, in the Chinese astrology. So, I, you know, there's just changes coming in. And I think you're fully uh, in that wave and, and realizing, like, life could can be easier for you. Uh, Scorpio, as you're entering into this week, there's something that is happening that I don't think you really expected. I really think that there's some sort of surprise coming in here, Scorpio. And I think it it gives you some sort of motivation. It gives you an extra little push to recognize that there, there really does need to be change. And I think that you feel a lot of validation and, and, and conviction in the changes that you're making. There's something that's coming in here in the beginning of the week that just adds fuel to the fire. And I think it's some sort of 
nefarious energy that comes like out from under that you, you know, it's just adding fuel to the fire. It's just another, you know, I was just going to say, it's just another kick in the ankle here, kick in the ribs. I I just feel like it's another blow. I don't mean it to be physical. I, it's not physical. If it's physical, then up and out. You know, I, I don't mean to be talking that way, but it, those are just these phrases that are like in my head. And I hate that those phrases are in there. There's a lot more than I prefer, but those come out for some reason. Um, probably didn't to help me to be irritated because I do feel like there's an irritation here and it could just be enough to spur you in to make some sort of decision. That's what it is. That's what it is, Scorpio. Let me go into the moon here and see what this is. I'm going to use a different deck. Ooh, I'm fired up. Ooh, boy. Uh, Scorpio, whatever happens here, you know, uh, be careful not to, to move too quickly. I think it's going to fire you up a little bit. Now, Scorpio, I have fire in me. I have some Sag in me, but you have Scorpio. You have other things in you too. So I think there's going to be some sort of a response, some sort of a response here. The moon energy. What is this moon energy? Moon energy. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is a nice, is a nice uh, four of cups. Ha! Ah. <sighs> See, there's just something that's it's maybe it's not how how it was supposed to be. Let me. I have to pull out one more card. Here. Oh, look at this! That's just so much. What's going on here? Well, it's just there's a there's somebody here trying to make some sort of money decision. I don't know if this is a spouse, a coworker, a boss, a banker. I don't know who this is. This is the King of Pentacles. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn type energy, but there's something here that he's trying to figure out something. He, he's in some sort of uncomfortable situation. And I think he has to make a decision about what to do. Both of you guys have the two of wands. Both of you guys are at some sort of a crossroads here. Um, from your perspective, there's something coming forward, something that you weren't expecting. I think that you thought it was going to be a gift. Maybe you thought it was going to be a gift. Maybe there's a promise that was given to you. Maybe there was some sort of, um, a reward or some sort of earnings that, that you were supposed to connect into. But somehow, I'm not sure what's going on, but there is something here that you really don't like. Something here that you really don't like connected into the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is covering the moon. So this is something that's coming out from underneath, something you didn't really know ahead of time, something maybe you weren't expecting. I think it's something that puts you in a defensive position. It's, it's hard. Whatever comes forward, it's hard. And I think you're tired already. I think you're tired already and you're on your like last le leg of coping. That's another phrase. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I'm totally obsessing about phrases that I say. And I'm realizing these phrases that we say, what are they even called? There's, they are so raunchy sometimes. They're full of violence. They're full of all kinds of, uh, yeah, anyway. Sorry, I'm distracting myself. <laughs> King of Cups. There could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here that, that is connected to this. Oh, that's your energy, Scorpio. Yeah, but still, still. Look how the King of Cups covers the moon. Scorpio, I think you're really working to, to bring... A, a new level of success into this situation, whether it's a home, whether it's a workplace, I think you're really working to bring in a new level of success, a new, new revitalization. You're really doing what you can. And I think that you have been in action. I think you have been doing those things that you can. I think that you have been uh, fulfilling your obligations. I really do think that you've been doing those things. And I think Scorpio, some of the things that you've been doing have been hard for you. They've been hard for you that you have been out like front and center in some, in some action oriented situation. And you've been pulling through in a beautiful way. Why, why is the, why are the, why, why is there this unhappiness with this, with this money that's coming in or this, um, I just feel like there's some sort of imbalance here and I really don't think that you like it. I think it's somewhat painful and it, and it puts you into this eight of cups uh, space where you're really um, realizing that there's something here that really isn't paying you back. It's not, 
It's not helpful for you. It's taking, it's only taking away from you. It's not bringing in anything. And, and really what you would be looking for is something um, that would help you feel okay about the, about the effort that you made. That's what the Six of Pentacles is supposed to do. It's supposed to be, be bringing in a, something for you that's worthy of the effort that you put in, right? That's the Six of Pentacles. Um, and something here has happened. And I think that the, that there has been some sort of a disappointment or some sort of a concern that you have. And I think you make some sort of decision about doing something differently. Six of Wands, you make some sort of decision and move forward with it in a public way. Um, now it doesn't have to be like changing a job or a relationship change or, or anything like that. This could be something revolving around a project, something that maybe is happening at work. Maybe it's something that's going on at home with the kids or with your partner. There's just, you know, something here that, um, you know, you might be saying, look, like if you're going to, uh, <laughs> it's so silly. Like, um, I mean, if, if you're going to be doing all of these jobs out in the garage. Well, I'm not going to be cleaning it then. You're going to have to clean it up. <laughs> it could be something like that. I mean, it's really, it's easier sometimes to go into the deep stuff. It's harder sometimes to think of like examples of, of just normal, regular day, regular events. Uh, so I think you're just moving forward with this. And I think you're making a decision about what you're going to do. And whatever you do, I think you feel really strongly about it, Scorpio, because you're moving into the Six of Wands. Now this happens in the middle of the week. So... <laughs> Um, I think you're being very clear about what you're planning to do as you move forward. And I think this is a complete change from what you've done before. So somebody around you is going to have to get used to taking on some additional obligations. They're going to have to get used to doing something for themselves because I don't think you're doing it anymore. I think you're changing your focus. I think you're changing um, how you spend your energy. Yeah, um, you're moving forward and, and there's no holes barred here. I think there's, you're just coming right out with it. You're coming right out with it. Uh, and I think it is something that in, in many ways, like it's a good move for you. Uh, people know this too. And so I, I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't think you're really going to get a whole lot of pushback here. Sometimes it just takes us to claim something and, and um, take control of it for us to make a change. And, and maybe that's how it's going to be, Scorpio. It's, it's, it's probably something smaller that's happening to you this week that just something comes in and, and just makes you change something that's been on your nerves for a long time. It's just the last straw. You know, this is just the last straw. I'm not doing that anymore. The things, you know, it, it's going to be something like that. I just feel like it's, it just feels like it's going to be something like that. Uh, then as you move into the last, um, the second half of the week, you're moving into the queen of swords position. So you're, <laughs> I don't know what's happening, um, but you're not letting up on this. <laughs> um, and it's not necessarily funny either. It's not necessarily funny. I, I don't really, but I think even after it's done with, I, I really feel because we have the page of pentacles here with the queen of wands and the queen of wands, um, energy is, is able to kind of handle situations like this. And I think the queen of swords energy is very able to handle these kinds of situations. I think afterwards, Scorpio, I think you're going to kind of look back on it and kind of chuckle to yourself. You know, ha, that was your funny. I, I need to do that more often. You know, let, let's mark it a score, a score of, you know, whatever you're going to, it's just going to be a little dialogue that you have with yourself afterwards. Um, because ultimately I think it's, it's, this is needed to happen for a long time. I don't think it's anything serious because it happens really quick. I mean, yeah, I don't really think, I don't think it's anything too serious. It happens really quick and, um, you're, you're back into the page of pentacles again fairly soon. So, um, but you are in the Queen of Swords energy. You're embodying that energy in the last half of the week. And there's something here you're fiercely protecting, you're representing, you're advocating for. You take the Queen of Swords up over the Six of Wands, over the Page of Pentacles into the Seven of Wands. There's clearly something here that you're defending and advocating for. And I feel like you're talking <laughs> and you're busy and you're busy protecting. And I don't know why, Scorpio, I'm not usually giggly in reading. So there's something here that just is just, it is the cat. Me out. Oh, that's not a bad one. 
That's not a bad phrase, but there is something here that's just very, I think you're so proud of yourself, Scorpio. I think you're proud of yourself. I think it's about damn time that this change was made. And I think this is something that you're going to start to do. Uh, this is this is the beginning of somebody here being able to really um, make some important changes and do it um, and realizing the potential you have to make those changes um, and how much better life is after you do that. Uh, yeah, there's something here you're really defending. Um, and I think right away, you're, yeah, that's what I just said, Page of Cups. I think right away, you're starting to see some improvements come in for yourself. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do a little bit of digging in to see who all is involved in this. You could have a Queen of Wands here, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. And, and if it, there is a, a friend here, th these energies are usually your energies. They usually are, not always, but how I read it's usually your energies. Um, and I'm going to read it like that. There could be a Queen of Wands here around you, Scorpio, that's part of this. But I think um, for you, as you're moving out to the to the end of the week, I think you're uh, feeling quite confident and quite excited about where you're going. And I think that's really where that kind of enjoyment comes from. The Queen of Wands is really able to... Um, push forward into her enjoyment. She really understands what she's good at, what she what she has a hard time with, um, what she's effective with. She, I think she knows her skills and she's not scared of taking action. She really isn't. And I think that you are moving into that kind of feminine quality as you come out to the end of the week. I think you're feeling healthy. You're feeling good. You're, you're, I think you're quite attractive at, at this point. I mean, I mean, we do go through like ebbs and flows on our personal um, uh, energy uh, bank and you have some sort of beautiful energy stored up in you and that energy like radiates out of you and it's quite attractive to those around you and I think that you are enjoying that you, you are seeing some 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 improvements here I mean I don't think they're super huge but you're seeing them and I think that's all you really need to kind of um, level up not that the queen of swords is, is is not any different she's Scorpio she had to kind of come out because this this Whatever this is, this argument or this series of arguments or whatever it is that's happening here, um, it it was important. But I think you, it, I think this Queen of Wands is is um, a more dynamic quality for you. I think you're going to really enjoy that, and I feel really giddy when I'm in that spot. I think you're really super proud of yourself for this. I mean, you could scrub. You could have been in a situation for a while, for a while and just not have been able to speak up. Not you. You weren't mad enough pot potentially. Maybe you weren't irritated enough. You know, something happened with this moon that just was like the last straw and it was and it just put things in motion for you to really change some things. And I do think you're going to be happy about those changes. I think people are going to know about it, too. Um, it could have like an underlying and I don't want to make fun of this because it's not not all of the situations have that fun element to it. Some some are serious, some are heartbreaking, right? Some are heartbreaking, but others of them are. Uh, are situations that you that you're going to look back at later and kind of giggle to yourself and talk to yourself a little bit about how 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 that went and maybe how fun that was and how maybe you should keep on doing that when when you need to I don't know uh, that's coming forward again so um, let's hear Scorpio let's see what we want to dig into what deck is this. Well, let's look at the moon. Did we already dig into it? I think we already did, but I feel like there's still something there. Well, of course there's something there. What am I thinking? That is like the endless pit of, of mystery, the moon. <laughs> let's go ahead and see if there's anything else we can get to come out from the moon. Oh, we have the page of swords. Sure, we're looking at it. And then the eight of wands. There's something here that's going to spur you into action. Nine of swords. Yeah, I think there's, there's just something here that's going to... Um, encourage you to make some changes. I was looking at the Eight of Cups and the Page of Wands. It's just going to be something to spur you into action. All right, so we've got those. And let's look at the Six of Wands. Six of Wands here. The High Priestess. That's that moon type energy. Page of Cups. Some of you, 
you this this is a more quiet entrance the six of wands is usually very public is it sometimes in front of other people but in this case for some of you this could be something that you're quietly doing having a quiet conversation it could be something you're doing with a child something you're doing with someone younger than you uh, you could be going like out on a date with somebody younger than you it could be like happen like as a as a response something like that some like as a response you could be going out on the town as a response it, it might be that you're taking that you take more action like you're 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 taking more actions than you are than you are speaking speaking might come later you might act first speak later <laughs> You might act first, speak later. That's what I feel like. Huh, I wonder what it's going to be. This is something that you know is right for you. Whether it's a new introduction, whether it's going out on the town, whether it's feeling um, a new confidence again, a new, um, a new confidence in self. And so it kind of helps when the, when it's time, when the time comes to take action, that really helps you. Um, to be able to, to do that, any kind of, um, I, I, I think you're able to overcome like those feelings of unworthiness and um, inferior complex. I think those issues are 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 not an uh, they're they're not a part of this. You're you're spurred into action here. Let's look at the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, or some sort of stabilizing force here. Page of Pentacles could be money. Could be some nice changes that you're you're experiencing. Page of Wands. I think you're starting to recognize or you're realizing like how nice this change is going to be for you. And I think it does for some of you open up some space for you to do other things. <laughs> Let's go into the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Tell us more about this Queen of Wands. Feminine, Aries, Leo, Sag, Fire. Four of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Five of Swords. Um, this is not supposed to be. That came out in the left, right? Five of Cups tried to come out. Or Five of Swords. I think you have some sort of a friendship or some sort of a commitment here that you had worked on for a while, but it feels like there is a change now. There's, there's a, there, there's a freeing of that. I think you're free to be, I think you're Scott free here. Scott free. What is that? There's another one. Oh my God. Um, I, I think that you have this new sense of liberty, a new sense of freedom here. And um, you're kind of moving into a new version of yourself. I feel like this person or this commitment or this relationship possibly really held you back. I think it might have really held you back. And I think um, there, there really wasn't a whole lot of benefits to this. Maybe you thought it was more stable than it was, or you thought it was going to be better than it was. And I just feel like that there is, you're, you're fully done with that now. You're okay changing it. You're not minding the changes that are coming in. I, in fact, I feel like you're, you're ready for that and you recognize like, it, it is time and I am looking forward um, to some new experiences, maybe with some new people or with the new workplace or whatever. I think you're ready and, and in many ways anticipating um, uh, some really fun experiences up ahead for you. Okay, Scorpio, I am going to move to the extended reading. And in the extended reading, I'm going to take this narrative and move it forward. We're also, also going to pull a reading on love and a reading on money as well and check in with those um, topics for Scorpio. Um, so if you're interested in the extended reading, the link to that is below. Also, I am offering personal readings. I am recovered now from the Kundalini and I am moving forward and, and rebuilding again. Um, now that I'm better and I am pro offering personal readings, uh, it usually takes me seven to 10 days to get, to get them done today. I just did one that I got today. So I'm staying pretty, um, pretty good on those, although I am going away for the weekend. So that's going to slow me down just a little bit, but it usually takes me a week to do those. And the prices are range from $20 to, um, my in-depth readings are more expensive. They'll run, um, 
to like $180, but there are a lot of variations in there. And I've tried to come up with products that could fit any budget. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, Scorpio, thank you all very much for being here. It is an honor to read for you. I wish you guys all well in the next week, um, in the next week to come and um, stay well, stay healthy, don't get sick. And I'll see you back here next week with another reading for Scorpio. All right. Thank you.